Slide 1, Tier 1, Construction. Today we're going to start by taking a look at our Simple Mind Mind Map. We'll be using it today. You have yours organized and color-coded by tier. The first tier are your initial round questions, the second tier are the researched answers, the third tier is your second round questions, and the fourth is researched answers. Today, in our paper, we're going to be selecting what's called a thread to explore. I've recolor coded this mind map to show you what a thread is. A thread is a chain of question, answer, question, answer. They all go on the same topic. You're going to be choosing two out of your five threads to explore in your research paper on Google Docs. Now to Google Docs. So far you've constructed the formatting in the beginning of your paper as well as your introduction paragraph. Today we're going to be doing the first thread, tier one question, research answer, and thoughts on findings. We'll color code the paragraphs so that we can see we have everything present. In the first paragraph, you're going to put, the question I decided to start my research with was, and you'll list it there. Then explain why you chose that question to start your research. Going back to the Simple Mind Mind Map, you can choose any of those first questions. Remember, you'll be choosing two out of your five threads to explore in the paper. For the next part, you're going to have your research answer. You'll start with your own words explaining what you've learned. Then you're going to pull a specific quote. You don't have to find them because you already have them saved in your Simple Mind Mind Map. So you'll start with a lead-in. In an article, I learned, comma, quotation mark, and then you're going to drop in your research answer from your Simple Mind Mind Map. At the very end, like all MLA quotes, you're gonna kick out the punctuation, quotation mark, parenthesis, and you'll put the author's last name in parentheses. If you don't have an author last name for your research, you'll use the article title in quotation marks. You will not have a page number because it's a website. We're then going to explain why this information is interesting. The last piece is thoughts on findings. So you'll say, I found this interesting because and in your own words, you'll reflect on what you've learned. So once again, we're going to do our first question and why we chose it. Our research answer, what we've learned in our own words and with an MLA quote. And finally, our thoughts on findings, reflecting on what we've learned. At the very end, remember, you still have your Works Cited page listed there. If you need extra help, use the provided teacher model link for assistance. Everything's broken down there in Google Docs. Additionally, I have a YouTube video link for each section included in that model document. Message me with questions.